What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be discussing a few bits and pieces about V4.1 from a content point of view. We've already covered a full video on the gameplay and a couple of bits and pieces that I would like to see change and what I think will change with the gameplay survey and the smart assist survey. But today we are going to be talking about this, right? So about the carryover. I've said for weeks that 4.1 was going to be, you know, kind of setting the table really for 4.2, which is going to be the big update. And they've already discussed this here. And now they've added this to support and unavailable list. You can actually see what managers and players are going to be removed over the next couple of updates, right? So don't panic, okay? I've seen a lot of people ask about this in the Discord. I've seen a couple of people ask about it. And I was going to wait until uh, 4.1 actually came out to live stream this. We will still do that. But this isn't something that you need to worry about too much, right? So it's broken into managers and players. These players, their standard cards or their club cards uh, for the managers and the players, as you're seeing here, are going to be removed. So you'll notice a couple of big names in here, but there's a thousand managers that are going to be taken off as the game transitions fully into eFootball 2025, right? Now, you can filter this by players or managers that you have in your team. As we're doing here, we have got Thomas Tuchel, and of course, we have got Zeitzler, who is Klopp. So Klopp is going to be taken out of the game for, you know, after, say, 4.2. Now, whether that comes in a December update or a November update, you'll also notice a couple of big names here for standard cards. So Ibra is going to be taken out. Uh, Buffon is going to be taken off. More on that in a second, right? But you also have the likes of Cesc Fabregas. You've got a couple of those players like Shalini there. And yeah, there's a lot of players. There's 14,000 players here, it says. And again, you can filter this and see what standard cards you have in your squad or in your team that are going to be removed or taken away. And that is going to be over the next two updates, as I showed at the start of the video. Again, you can go in and filter here. So to basically explain this, right, you can go in and filter this and you can see what players you have. These are two standard cards that are going to be removed. You've got Munayin and you've got Iniesta. Obviously, Iniesta is retired from football, so his standard card is going to be taken out because he's not with a club in with this card, right? Munayin is kind of slightly different. However, these cards, special versions of these cards, will not be taken away. So, for example, the standard Iniesta card is going to be removed from 4.1 and 4.2 and on to the next update, but the special Iniesta card is not going to be removed. So, I've had a couple of people ask me, oh my god, they're taking Ibrahimovic out, I've got two special cards, or oh my god, they're taking out, you know, um, Iniesta's, you know, booster that I just got. No, they're not doing that. What they're going to be doing is they're basically just going to be taking out players that are no longer going to be playing or that are not affiliated to a club. So, Ikram Munayin, this is a special card, he should not be removed. This Monain will be removed, right? So that's basically it. Now, I feel like at this stage as well, why they're doing this is, I, I've been saying for a while, I do think that next season, like as in next year, is going to be a big departure from just the players and stuff like this. I think they'll ride this out for a couple of more months. We know we're going to be getting new nominating contracts. We know that we're going to be getting new player of the weeks. I'll show you who I think is going to be coming on player of the weeks here in just a second. But the player of the weeks, I think, are kind of stagnated for a little bit, right? These are who I think will come. You've got Turam scoring a hat-trick, Lewandowski scoring a hat-trick, Saka having a great season. Again, Arsenal looking really, really strong um, and continuing to look really, really strong across all fronts. And Saka's kind of pivotal in their success. We also have Nakamura there as well from uh, Reims over in the League One. Valverde's having a fantastic season, another goal the weekend. Retegui, of course, with his hat-trick for At At Atalanta as well the other day as well. We also will probably get new showtime, right? So we're going to be getting brand new cards, brand new match pass. As I said, I have a full video done up. Shout out to CTE Football for this mock-up here as well. We could get Palmer and Griezmann. But we will probably get a different showtime. It could be Fortress. They've been really throwing a lot of defenders at us lately. Now, on from that as well, I do think that when we're talking about players that they've removed, Fabrega, Shalini, I reckon that they might work those in. And you've got Roy Keane in the middle. Lads, listen, I'm just going to keep talking about Keane coming to the game until I wish it into existence. But Fabregas and Cellini, kind of players that are recently retired or recently have their cards removed, they actually might be coming back as boosters, you know? It depends. And also, I think a good prediction as well is that we will get more managers and updates to the managers. And I think we could also get special managers. So at the moment, obviously, they've added the likes of Hansi Flick, who is managing Barcelona. But I do reckon that we will get special packs as well, such as what you're seeing here. De La Fuente and Stoichkovic are obviously going to be there for another 20 or so days after the update on Thursday. But we could get the likes of Flick and Bayern Munich's company as special you know, special managers, you know? Will we get managers with 90 play, play style proficiency? That is where I think the game will go. 
And I also think that over the next couple of updates, right, I'm predicting that you will be able to train cards in a different way and you'll be able to give cards different things going forward. And also managers will tie into that as well that there'll be a special feature for managers. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, it's our usual What's Coming Thursday, but we have this as a double parter. If you missed the first part of the video where we talk about gameplay enhancements and tweaks that we need for V4.1, this is the content side of it. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you have any more questions and we'll talk to you guys on the live stream Thursday.